So in front of me here are some of the tools that I use to sketch. And this is stuff that I have with me daily. It's a kit that's always in my bag. It starts with the big medium ballpoint pen. They're great for layering up a sketch, drawing really, really light and kind of failing on the page, finding your shapes and putting down some marks, but then using that as the construction of the rest of the sketch. And as you feel like adding more weight to it, you can very easily do that with a ballpoint pen. The other beautiful thing about drawing with a pen is that your lines are permanent. We're not using an eraser, we're not questioning any of the lines, they're all there for a reason. And it's your job to pick the ones that work and layer that drawing up. I also carry a paper mate. It's essentially a texter. It's got a kind of chiseled sharp point. They're really affordable, but they have a wonderful kind of feel to them. And again, these are great for adding a bit of extra contrast to a page. But I also love using these pens if I find that I'm a bit stuck creatively. Drawing with a fatter marker or a texter really loosens up my process and allows me to not be so precious about my line work. So if we talk about Copic markers, this is an amazing tool that so many different designers and creatives use. It works really well with a bleed proof paper and comes in a huge array of colours. But for me, I actually just really use Copics these days to highlight a particular part of a sketch. I'm just adding a little bit of definition, making sure that concept sort of stands out on a page. I really love drawing at the moment in these Moleskine sketchbooks. They've got a really interesting size format. They're a little bit smaller. The paper texture is really interesting. It's almost sort of transparent, but it's got this off-white color to it. Also, we've got post-it notes, you know, pretty obvious, but the way that I use these is to put just markers in my pages. Often if I'm working through a new collection and you might be sketching over different days, your book gets filled up with all sorts of other stuff, from other projects to notes on finance meetings to just general scribbles. So I like to go through with a post-it note and just tag the pages that might relate to that project. That way if I'm going back into another creative session or we're having a critique, I can easily pull up the page out of that book and reference where we we're at at that point. The other material that I think is really important to talk about is trace paper. I don't use this a lot, but I find that if we're doing a big group session and we're trying to kind of draw over the top of each other, trace paper is wonderful for that. Again, it frees me up in my sketching process. I seem to not be as precious in the way that I draw when I'm dealing with trace. And it's a great way to express multiple ideas on top of other ideas and fail fast.